What I'm going to be going over here is solving for multiple product cost volume profit analysis here in units or quantities of these multiple products. And it's going to be based on targeted net income here uh, before and after taxes here as a percentage of sales dollars here. So that's the key here. We're going to be working with a percentage of sales dollars here to determine the different quantities we need for these multiple products that we're going to be looking at in order to derive here some targeted net income here before and after taxes. So uh, for a cost volume profit analysis, the basic concept is this. You're going to have some total revenue here, and that total revenue is going to equal your total cost plus some profit that you have. Okay, so uh, our formulas, we'll go through here some basic formulas. So TR here, that's our total revenue. It's going to equal TC here, our total cost, plus some net income here before taxes. Some targeted dollars here for net income here. Okay, so our total revenue here is going to equal our total cost, which is our total fixed cost, plus our total variable cost, plus some net income here before taxes. So then we can just rearrange the equation here, move our total variable cost over onto the other side of the equation. So our total revenue less our total variable cost here is going to equal our total fixed cost plus some net income here before taxes. So now this is where we're going to, this is, we're going to have to determine this contribution margin that we're going to be working with. So our total revenue less our total variable cost equals our total variable contribution margin. And that's that's going to equal our total fixed cost plus again some net income here before taxes. So the calculations that we're going to go through here will start out with our total revenue here is equal to our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost plus those that are targeted net income here. And that was our a concept that we had up here here. So we can further uh, break that down. Our total revenue is equal going to be some uh, pri unit price for the products here times some quantity. Some price times some quantity. That's going to equal our total fixed cost plus our total variable cost is going to be a variable cost on a per unit basis times some quantity. And then we'd add to that our net income here before taxes. Again, so we just move our to our total variable cost over to this side of the equation. So our price times some quantity less our variable cost times some quantity here equals our fixed cost plus our net income here before taxes. Factor out our X here term, our quantity, so our price Unit price minus our variable cost here times some quantity here equals our total fixed cost plus our net income here before taxes. And then what we're going to come up with is a weighted contribution margin. The difference between our price and our variable cost, it's, we're going to define that as some weighted contribution margin times some X units here, quantity that we're going to be solving for is going to equal our total fixed cost plus our net income here before taxes. So what we want to take away from this, uh, price here less our variable cost, that equals our contribution margin. And then we're going to have to determine our weighted average contribution margin on a per unit basis. So this is a, this W here is going to be a weighted average contribution margin here. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do here when you're dealing with these multiple products in our situation here, we're going to have to determine our net income here before and after as a percentage of sales here. So what we're going to, with multiple products, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have to know your product. In this case, we're only going to be looking at two different products here, but you'd have any number of different products that you'd be dealing with. But for our example, we'll just go through two different products here, product X1 and X2. And then for each of those products, you're going to have to know their unit price, unit variable cost, and then this mix ratio here. So when you're dealing with these multiple products, you have to determine a mix ratio here. So, and what the mix ratio is, that's really the proportion of each of these products that you're selling. So in our case here for product X1, uh, it's got or 75% of our sales is for product X1. So our mix ratio is 75% or 0.75. And then for product X2, a mix ratio is 25% and that would be 0.25 here. So they have this mix ratio, the total uh, has to add up to 100% here for all the products that you're looking at. But in our case, 75% of our sales is going to product X1, 25% goes to product X2. So that's what our example is going to be based on. Okay, so we've got two things that we're going to have to deal with here uh, for our problem. We have to determine our total mixed contribution margin, and we also have to determine our total mixed sales dollars here. So let's start out with our total mixed contribution margin. So uh, this would be that weighted average, that W here stands for a weighted average contribution margin on a per unit basis. So that is really taking 
E here. I'm just going through this formula. E is really the sigma or the sum of here times the, dif uh, the difference between your unit price and your unit variable cost for each of your products times that mix ratio. Okay, so let's figure it out, our weighted average contribution margin here for our two different products. So really, again, you're going to take the price here uh, versus your variable cost. So for product X1 here, unit price is $4, variable cost is $3, so that difference, 4 less $3 here, that difference here times the contribution margin or the mix ratio here, the mix ratio, and that's 75% in this case. Okay, so for product X1 here, price less our variable cost times our 70.75 mix ratio. And then uh, we add to it a product 2 here, X2, and that price is $8 here, unit price less $5 here, variable cost times a mix ratio here, 0.25. So eight. $8 less $5 times that contribution margin ratio of 25% or 0.25 is, we sum those. Whatever that amount is for product X1 here and product X2, you sum them and you're going to come up with 1.5 here. So that's the weighted average contribution margin on a per unit basis here, 1.5. So our total mixed contribution margin here is just going to be our weighted average of 1.5 here per unit times the total units that we're going to have to sell for. So that'll be our total mixed contribution margin here. X equals a total mixed units, and that's what we're going to have to sell for. So the next thing we have to deal with is our total mixed sales dollars, since we're working with our net income before and after taxes as a percent of sales. So this is the next thing you have to do. So that's really going to be our weighted average price here. And that's, again, we can look at it in these terms that the weighted average price here is going to be this sum here, or E here, I'm showing the sigma, the sum of our unit price here times that mix ratio. So let's go and look at it here. So starting out with product X1 here, unit price is $4. Uh, mix ratio is 0.75 or 75 percent, so we take four dollars times 0.75 here, and then for product two X2, it's eight dollars here the price times its mix ratio here of 0.25. Okay, so we sum those uh, amounts up, and we're going to come up with an eight weighted average price here of five dollars for our two different products that we're looking at. So five dollars equals our weighted average price here. So our total mix sales dollars is just going to be those total, we're going to solve for those total uh, units that we have here, It'll just be $5 times X here. Okay, so we've now calculated what? Our total mixed sales dollars here. We have to determine our weighted average price here on a per unit basis for our different products. And then we also had our total mixed contribution margin here, which we had to have a, to a weighted average contribution margin here times those units, those total units that we're going to be looking, uh, calculating here. Okay, so uh, this 5x here, that's our sales dollars here. Y, the weighted average price here times the number of units that we're going to be selling here. Okay, so yx is our total mix sales here. All right, now our general, we're going to go through the different situations here for those uh, for our percent of sales dollars that we're going to be looking at. But really, they're going to be built off this formula here for WX, that weighted average contribution margin times some units is equal to our total fixed cost plus some net income here before taxes. And then based on that percentage of sales here, we're going to have some rate of return here on our sales here times those uh, total weighted uh, sales, total mixed sales dollars here, YX here that we calculated. You're going to have some rate times our total mixed sales dollars here. That's going to equal, again, we're just moving that net income here in before taxes. We're going to call it based on our rate times those total mixed sales here. And then the rate here, we're going to be giving it in our problem, but it'll be some net income here before taxes divided by those total weighted uh, sales here, Y times X here. And then remember, net income here uh, is based, this is, this is our general formula for our rate, or our rate could be a net income here before taxes or after taxes, uh, again, divided by some sales dollars, or you could look at it in these terms, or net income before taxes divided by total revenue. So just generally what we're going to be looking at here. So R is going to be the rate of return here on sales, and we're going to substitute R times those total mixed sales dollars here for the desired net income here before, and we'll look at it as an after taxes again. So total re total revenue equals some sales dollars here in total sales here is going to be 
uh, the weighted average price here times the quantity and that's what we're going to be working off here this this general equation here okay so let's go up here and let's start with first case here we're going to be just looking at to earn net income before taxes as 15 percent of the sales dollars okay so what we're going to be doing here our general equation is going to be this this uh weighted average contribution margin times the number of units and we're going to be solving for this number of units here is going to equal our total fixed cost plus what we talked about this net income here before taxes as of 15 percent of our sales dollars so net income here before taxes based on that 15 percent here we're given it 15 percent of our sales dollars is going to be a rate here and then yx here is our total mixed sales here so we're going to have to solve for our x here but how this how we would really solve for it here, we can desolve for it x here, we just go through the general terms. It would be uh, uh, price less our variable cost times some quantity here is going to equal our total fixed cost plus net income here before taxes. And then our, our price less our variable cost here is just our going to be that weighted contribution margin times those units here. Price, uh, price versus our variable cost here. So we're going to have that weighted contribution times some units here. That's going to equal our total fixed cost. And net income is just that before tax is going to be that rate times that uh, there's total mixed sales here. Okay, you can solve for X here, factoring everything out. X is going to equal total fixed cost plus our rate times that uh, total weighted uh, total mixed sales here divided by W or the weighted average contribution here. Okay, so that's our general equation here, and we can just slip that right into our solution here. So WX here, remember our weighted average contribution was 1.5 times X, and our total fixed cost, let's just say it's 300000 for this problem. And then our rate here, we're looking at our rate here, we're just giving it at 15%. And then our total mixed sales, remember it was $5 here, that was the weighted, the weighted average price times X, the, number of units that we're going to have to solve for. So just multiply everything out here. And then, okay, so we get 1.5x equals 300,000 plus, and then 15% of 5 here is 0.75x. So now we can just move our 0.75x over to this side of the equation, and we're going to come up, we'll subtract it from this side of the equation. So 0.75x here is going to equal our total fixed cost here, 300,000. So our total mixed units, x here, we can solve for that very easy, just divide 0.75 here by both sides of the equation. So three, it divide it here, divide 300,000 by 0.75 here, and that's going to give us 400,000 mixed units here that we're going to be selling. Those are the total number of units. So now we have to just proportion them out here between product X1 and product X2 here. So we just take the mix ratio here times the total mixed units here. So 400,000 here is our total mixed units for product X1. Our mix ratio is 0.75. So product X1, we're going to have to sell 300,000 units here, product X1. And for product X2, mix ratio is just 0.25 here times uh, total mixed units, 400,000. That equals 100,000 units. Okay, so that's based on our net income here of 15% before taxes of 15% of our sales tax the dollars here. This is what we'd have to sell for, based on the, our mixed quantities or our, uh, multiple products here. We'd have to sell so many of X1, 300,000 units, X2 here, 100,000 units. So uh, simply this, these units here is just that individual price, uh, the quantities here, that's the individual quantity is just taking those total mixed units here times the mix ratio here. And then just remember our 5x up here, our 5x here, that was our total mix sales here. And then 5x, because it was $5 per unit here, unit price, times quantity here. So y was our unit price here. Uh, our, our, our y was our to, aver, total, our, was our unit price here, our sales, average sales price here times the units. And then r we were given here at 15%. Okay, so those, those are, W here is a weighted average contribution margin. Y was our weighted average price, if you go and look at it. And WX here was our total weighted contribution margin. And YX here was our total mixed sales dollars. I'm just going through these here as a reference so you understand our equations here and how they fit it in. Okay, so the next thing we have to look at is to earn net income here after taxes. Let's just say it's 9% of our sales dollars here. 
Okay, so we're going to go through the same procedure here, but looking at net income here after taxes, uh, that's really taking one minus our tax rate times the net income here before taxes. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. So that's what we're going to have to solve for here. So our net income here before taxes is net income here after taxes divided by one minus the tax rate. And our tax rate for this case is our tax rate is going to be 40%. So one minus our tax rate here is 60%. So solving for X in which we'll do in our equation here, it's just taking our total fixed cost plus uh, what we normally have for a net income here before taxes, we just sort of substitute that in here. A net income here after taxes divided by one minus the tax rate divided by W here, our weighted average contribution margin. So this is just a general equation here to solve for those total mixed quantity, uh, uh, total mixed units that we're looking at. So let's just go back to our equation here. So again, uh, our our weighted average contribution margin times X units that we're going to have to solve for is equal our total fixed cost plus now this is just taking that rate times our total uh, mixed sales here quantity divided by one minus the tax rate and everything comes off this equation here so our uh, total our mix ratio here our total weighted uh, contribution was 1.5 times X which we're going to solve for is equal to 300,000 divided by 9% of our sales dollars or 9% of us 9% here is our rate times 5x here. Those was what our total mix sales that we're looking at here. $5 price times x, which we're going to solve for, divided by 1 minus our tax rate here, 0. 0.40% here. So uh, Wx 1.5 is equal total fixed cost. We're just sticking with that 300,000 here. Plus, in this case, you multiply everything out, you're going to come up at 0.45x here divided by 0. 0.6 or one minus our tax rate here. So again, we just come up with the same thing here. Our weighted average, uh, weighted, uh, average contribution margin 1.5 times X, the units we're solving for equals our total fixed cost of 300,000 plus and just solve for everything here. And that's 0.75X and then just move, move your 75X from subtract 75X from both sides of the equation. You're coming up at 0.75X here equal to 300,000 our fixed cost. X, just divide everything out. Again, we're going to come up with the 400,000 uh, mixed units here that we have. So we can allocate it just as we did up above here. X1 is going to be 75% uh, or 0.75% of the 400,000. So 0.75 times 400,000 gives us 300,000 units here in X1. And then for X2, the mix ratio is 0.25 or 25% of our total mixed uh, units here, 400,000. So that's going to give us 100,000 here. Okay, they're, it's coincidentally they're the same here as we had for the net income here before taxes, but the only difference was is that net income here after taxes, we substituted at 9% here of our sales dollars versus net income before taxes, we did it at 15% of our sales dollars. But I did it just on those units to, just to see how it works here. But for our net income here, after, just remember here, when we're dealing with these, uh, nine, uh, these percents of sales dollars, we had to convert everything over here this we had to determine some rate here in this case we were given the rate here and we take in instead of putting in the net income here after and before taxes we had to substitute that rate in here times uh, our total mixed sales in those are dollars here some y price uh, uh, average unit price here weighted average price times the x that we're solving for and then we just went in you had to do your go through the arithmetic here based on your substitution that you had to make in here for net income before taxes, net income here after taxes, and whatever here. But just remember, when you did it as a percent of sales dollars, you had to come up when you had to, everything had to be set as a percent, or you had to determine your total mix sales here. And then everything, in this case, we were working off that total contribution margin that we had to, we worked off contribution margin, price minus variable cost times our units that we're looking at. Okay, so that'll pretty much summarize our subject here in going through as a percentage of sales dar uh, dollars here to determine uh, multiple products, uh, the number of units or the quantities you're going to need for when you're dealing with multiple products and you're looking at as, as a percentage of sales.